Okay, let's talk about chromatography. Chromatography works by separating two or more components with different solubility in the same solvent. This is how chromatography looks like. You might have done it in the lab or you might have seen it somewhere before, but do take note that you need to know how it looks like. Chromatography can be applied in two different ways. The first is to determine if a substance is pure, and the second is to identify the components in a substance. To determine if a substance is pure, the chromatography should show only one distinct spot. Impure substances are made up of multiple different pure substances, and as such, they will show different spots. The components of a substance X can be determined by comparing the spots from the chromatogram with that of pure substances. If both have a spot in the same position using the same solvent, the pure substance can be concluded to be present in substance X. You also need to know what is, what is RF values. These values are used to identify the components of mixtures. The RF value of a particular compound is always the same. Calculating the RF value allows chemists to identify unknown substances because it can be compared with RF values of known substances under the same conditions. How do you calculate RF? You need to know how by using this formula. So RF equals to distance traveled by the substance over distance traveled by the solvent. And because RF value is a ratio, it has no units. And that is two minutes of chemistry. See you next time.